Welcome back everyone to the end of a new beginning mod. I'm your host, Hail Mokalova. And right now, we have just finished Reich's Maneuver, which we will make some maneuvers in our empire. Very cool. And we gotta talk about this, we got a couple comments to go through. Um, but last time, we basically had a two-front war. You could maybe think of it a three-front war, really, with, uh... Well, some people wanting to kill us off, including the British, who we still have to kill off. The French and the Russians, but we dealt with them. But, we will give Bismarck more influence in our policy domain whether domestic or foreign. And right now, we are lacking quite a few horse intact. We're lacking quite a few rifled howitzers, but a lot of uniforms, and we're still at war, like I said, with the UK, which is... Oh, it's go definitely going, but we've been seeing quite a few convoys. But like I said, we've got quite a few comments to go through. They don't have a lot of manpower. Um, let's see. Uh, that's okay. There it's a lot of ships, still. Still a lot of ships. But a core population, right or just population, is a almost 150 million. I'd say that's a little impressive. We have the French under us, and as one of the comments said from yesterday, we should probably liberate Russia. So I did. So we have the Russian F Federation, it seems like, maybe? Oh, don't think they're going to but nope, okay. Russian Federation, what is this? Un unclaimed territory. Okay. Oh, we got climate training. Cool. Because we need a climate training for this one. Quinine. Quinine. Cool. It hurts our supply consumption, which I really don't like, but whatever. Yeah, so I released Russia just because, well, that costs a lot in terms of, uh, Manpower that we didn't have, and good equipment too, but Simeon Ostrovsky is now our puppet, supporting the coal mining industry. Cool. Hopefully they can't do anything against us anymore, and we will forever have them under us. Slavic Brotherhood, huh? Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll definitely see about that. Uh, engineers, recon. Uh, you know what, grab some military police, even though we can't really afford to do much with it. Uh, let's see, because currently you guys are doing the uh, policing. I don't think we'll have enough for this. We have enough army XP for this, but let's see. This is to help our suppression by 0.8 more. It's not a whole bunch more, but, you know. We'll take whatever we can get. So, overall, I think yesterday was pretty successful. Or the last video was. Let's see. Moldavia we could release. Moldavia. Uh, I, as ugly as this is, I don't think I'm going to be bothered with this too much. Boy, unrest in the Caribbean. What? We have Caribbean islands? Oh, hello. Impact of colonialism. Oh, look at all this stuff down here. Racial supremacy and ideas similar to the white man's burden, huh? Okay, okay then. Um, what do you want me to do with this? Uh, let's create great inequalities and unrest for individuals apart from the marginalized group. If the impact of colonialism is not reduced, an incident may occur. As will abort if every Caribbean state we own is under 10 DCI. Racial supremacy. Do I have anything down here? I don't. I don't think I have anything worth these guys. Um. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, ooh. There's Denmark. We don't own any. Uh, oh, technically we are the owners of this, of this but because I took them away from the French. Voting protesters in French Caribbean. Protesters have congregated outside a government building in French Caribbean demanding equal voting opportunities for all peoples. While the law in the book allows anyone to vote, arbitrary policies like poll tests and voting fees discriminate against those who cannot read, cannot afford voting fees, or have a lack of formal education. Often those that are able to vote are turned away at the polls or the voting registration papers are declined. Many white individuals from the towns have gathered to intimidate the protesters, and tensions between the two are high to make matters more tense. Many of the local officials are apathetic towards non-white protesters, and any violence done against them will like, most likely be overlooked. Domestic affairs like this are typically handled by local officials, but we have the opportunity to intervene here if we can afford to pull a few strings. We cannot be bothered with domestic incidents. Ignore the issue. Center the military to keep the peace. Hmm. Hmm. Unrest. Well, we're going to establish a precedent here. Mm, if we lose them, I don't really care. I mean, they're all the way over there, so. We didn't need that command power, right? We have so much command power. My goodness. So much command power. I love it. Oh, wait. Our population... Not, oh, wait, I thought it was 150 million. I guess with Russia under us, it was that much. But it changes every month. German military technology developments. Uh, our ongoing war could perhaps be any more quickly if it's superior technology compared to our opponents. And now we've taken a small step into that direction. Once again, the hard-working group of researchers motivated by patriotic fervors developed revolutionary new weapons technology. With some funding, it might result in something useful to implement. This will aid our war effort. The protests ended that week almost without any conflict, as the military kept peace during the protests. Though the status quo remains unchanged in French Caribbean, at least it ended civilly. And we're building a lot more industry and military factories too. A lot more military factories and some textile factories just because, well, we're a little bit of out. And we're a little bit of iron as well, so we got to work on that stuff as well. And we're missing some cavalry equipment, but you know what? 
let's go ahead and try this again, because this is probably going to end in defeat. And a lot of disappointment and a little bit of rage, probably. But, I guess we can't, because we don't have enough sh uh, naval supremacy. Darn it, I want more supremacy, but whatever. Cool. Uh, let's see. Basically, yeah, as someone said, this war against the British and the French and the Russians was basically just a great war, almost quite literally 40 years early. And we still won, so. Go figure. Uh, domestic policy. We need to form, uh, make a few domestic reforms. Bismarck already has some propositions. All right. So I'm going to try to get through the focus tree as much as possible. No guarantee. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. I kind of like that. Social security laws. Fight the social democrats. Culture comp. Church strikes. Side of the Catholics. Side of the Protestants. Huh. You get any benefit for the side? That's the ability. Our culture. Begin. Ger Ooh, Germanization. In Poland. Ooh. Focus on the offensive, that's very nice. Foreign policy, European policy, isolate France. Well, I don't know if I really want to do that since they're actually technically under us, so... Delegation to Rome, the Triple Alliance, Du Tempo, Monoplane. I went with this one just because we get more daily air XP, so that's pretty good. At least in my mind, it looks pretty good, so... Alright, anything for socioeconomic humanities? Ooh, Scramble for Africa. Someone said that that's actually an event that will fire, so... Yeah, Scramble for Africa must be an event, so... Cap growth, let's grab that one because we can. Anything else here? I'm just building, 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 building. Auro, Auro, that's somewhere in Africa. We only get 0.36 every single day. Suez Canal, we don't really care. Um, We can't do this one yet, so my hope for this episode is just to push as far and as fast as we possibly can ahead in, 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 of time. Or just go as fast as we possibly can. Because we can't really do anything about this group here, so it kind of sucks. And we're throwing more ships in here. I want to build more ships. I mean, we need naval supremacy as much as possible, but I don't know if we'll actually be able to get to there. Because I, I wish it was an event or just some way we could peace out. As someone did say, like, it sucks that we can't really avoid the war. Overwhelming political stability. Great. Just because we had too much war support, so... Didn't make any sense. But apparently there was uh, real things such as the Great Scare, which happened after the Franco-Prussian War, with Germany think with people thinking that Germany would go to war again and again and again, but... I enjoy reading your comments. Most of the time. Most of the time. What is this? A civilian factory? Yeah, yes it is. Ah, uh, another convoy. It's not a British convoy, which is disappointing, but it is a Canadian one, so... I think it's Canadian, right? Hopefully it is. So someone also said, imagine you live in, with, you live in Paris, and within five years, Germany ca conquers your town twice. Yeah, that would really suck. That would really, really suck. Actually, with all, this whole naval supremacy thing, well, with the French here, they actually will be able to build their own ships, which means that, uh... Hey, maybe they'll help out with uh, beating up the, some of that navy over there. Um... Um, oh, oh yeah, thanks, France, thanks. Oh, no, look at that beautiful flag. Jefferson Davis, what are you doing? D does Jefferson Davis have anything he can do? Or is he just doing, like, a continuous focus? Because it doesn't seem like he can do that much. Uh, prepare the convention, all right. Prepare early power stations, pretty nice. Cool, this is probably one of the few times I'm actually going to pause the game. So we're done with this one. Aviation is not quite done yet, but, yeah, we'll do that one anyways, because we can. And then we'll basically be done with that one. Look at that manpower, very, very nice. Yeah, I, I could give this to Romania, but they don't have cords on this. Well, this one actually do have cords on that. But if I'm going to give them this, I want to give them all of this. I guess I could use the State Transfer Tool mod, but... Hotin, it's not really that valuable. Yeah, there's no resources down here, so we're just kind of wasting time. You know what? Screw it. Can I use the State Transfer Tool mod? Yes, we can. Uh, I need to... Yeah, just... Uh, was this part of Russia? I'd rather give this to Russia, because they're my puppet. But you know what? You want this? How would it look with Russia? I don't like the way how that looks. Eh, screw it, I'm just going to keep it then. That looks kind of bad anyways, but... Thank you. Someone did recommend we take pretty much all lands east of us. Except for Russia, release Russia, so which obviously I did. Oh, maybe a little bit too well. Um, We do get some resources. We get some cotton. We got some wood. Oh, look at that. We got some iron, maybe? And maybe some more wood? Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Quite a bit of resistance, but hey, even... I love Taraz. Taraz is a great place. Taraz? Taraz? I don't know. I just want to blow up enemy ships. Hope we're learning a lot. Domestic policy is done. How about we do some, uh... Culture Kampf. Germany has been split into small countries for centuries before its unification. We must ensure all, we all share a common culture and a way of life. More stability, worse part, political power, legislative power, whatever you want to call it. Not bad. Subsidize the German shipbuilding industry. Actually, that would be pretty good to do, just because we could really, really use it. 
unrest. Can I just, like, make him go kaboom? Actually, can we release him as a puppet? That'd be kind of cool, actually. So we don't have to deal with this. Uh, return territory, no. Samarakan, Poland, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I could release Moldavia, but that means more lag, and I don't want more lag. Coquelin, Kiva, Estonia, nope. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, whatever. Hmm, actually, we could use that, because we're out of textiles, so. Or fabrics, but, which, whatever. Uh, coal mining, do we have enough, we should have more than enough coal, right? Yeah, we got 50 coal, so that's pretty good. And we're the great power in the world, number one. Love it. Quinine, so let's go back over to the colonization stuff. Is that over here? It is. So technically, we do have this researched already, which is muy bueno. Pretty muy bueno. Oh, how do we do this? Oh, it's already researched. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's researched, so... Colonial settlements, our monthly population, very nice, very nice. So we'll try to go as far as we can in this campaign. Um, I'm not sure how much is really left, just because. Oh, look at that. Uh, there's like, we're stuck in a war right now. I think content goes up to 1890. What is this? State autonomy. How state? How loyal state is to our empire? The state's loyalty drops below zero. They will revolt against us. They provide us with better recruitment for non-core states if their loyalty is high. Additional compliance and resistance modifiers will be positive if loyalty is high and negative is loyalty negative is loyalty is low. State autonomy, huh? Continental neoclassical economies or economics. Cool. I'd love to do that, but we can't. So we got that one. We could probably do that one next for colonial forts. We can't do this stuff yet, so we're pretty much done there. And actually, we've got to keep an eye on this when it happens somewhat soon to build the Keel Canal, which would be kind of interesting to see. So we're done with that. And I believe we're done with electronics and instruments for now, too. So it's unfortunate, but whatever. Yep, we're definitely done. Biochemistry, anybody? Yes, let's get some bio. No. Okay, we're done with biochemistry. Process engineering. Ah, there we go. Nice. Physical chemistry. Mm, is there anything else up here? This is why I use a state transfer tool mod. It's too good to not use. Um, other than that, I mean, we're just kind of hanging out, having a good time. Like, I wish we could invade and do do stuff, but our navy just isn't good enough. And their navy's not coming out, which is really disappointing. Oh, look at more ships, though. Hmm. I'm gonna do that one. There you go. Cool. Just keep thinking convoys. Love it. Hmm. At this point, I think I want to use... use can, I don't... Oh, actually. We get a bonus, but it's not because we have... We can use our naval XP or stuff like that. Uh, you, you definitely want to go capital ships, I'm pretty sure, just because light ships are nice and all, but you want your capital ships, your heavy ships, to do the most damage. If you use your, let's see, from what I've seen, I could be completely wrong about this, by the way, that if we use our screens to do damage, well, they're still going to get blown up by heavy ships anyways, but. How about our culture? We should spread our culture into conquered areas that we do not full, that do not fully accept it. Yeah, cool. All the comments, let's see. Oh, I kept saying Caraco incorrectly, and I literally just did that as I'm talking about it. So, someone said... Uh oh, oh, Caribbean's... Oh, what, what are you upset at me for? I'm literally not even in control of you right now. Go tell that to the British. Blame the British for this. But, uh... Let's see. It's not Caraco, which is wrong. It's... Someone said... Cur Curacao. Curacao. Yeah, obviously... I'm an American. We don't know some parts of the world in terms of geography and their pronunciations of names, so. Say la vie. <laughs> Curacao. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say Curacao, like, Caraco incorrectly again in the future, so please remind me in the future, because I'm going to forget. I There's so many things that go on during the day that I'm going to forget, probably. So, my apologies. And my apologies for the future as well. Journey homeland. I mean, it's not free, but it's not bad. I kind of want to do this one, though. I want more, I want more ships. More shippies. Anything else down here? Oh, we can choose someone else. And how is this looking? Popularity 0.07 is still going up, or is it just kind of staying there? It's slowly going up, but if we throw in that other guy, because we could use more... Ooh. We could use more stability. Okay, so at this point, I think we can do this one, and then replace a guy who's really good for consumer goods <clears throat> with another dude that gives us... <coughs> uh, traditional support. Man, was Otto von Bismarck really that bald? <laughs> Oops, uh oh. My bad. Well, my apologies about that. Uh, my voice decided to hiccup, and we just finished Colonial Forts. How joyous. I can't wait to build colonies and uh, enslave the natives. It's a good day to be alive. Cool, anyways. um, I guess early armored trains. What the heck? 
Ar armored transport just means shovel time. Cool. Shovel time. But we're beginning Germanization because I want to rush down this way with we'll start efforts to Germanize some of our territories. I love it. Nothing could go bad there, especially in Poland. Our Polish holdings like Poznan and Pomerelin will be Germanized. Unlocks decisions about the Germanization of our Polish territory. That's currently unavailable, though, due to a culture system not yet being implemented. Oh, no! I just want to Germanize! What's the point of Lebensraum if you can't Lebensraum? Also, earlier, when I released Russia before Finland, I released Russia first and then Finland. Um, I then gave Finland Kajala because I didn't like the way Finland looked. I wanted them to have a little bit more power, a little bit more strength, so I gave them this area. So, And then it, just, it gave me the lake over here. That's a big lake. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, cool. For some, I, I faded it and faded out just because I thought I'd started getting hiccups, but apparently not. And now that I've said that, I probably will get the hiccups. Anyways, um, off screen, like I said, I was going to replace that guy over here, so I did replace a guy with consumer goods, because even though, I mean, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven plus. Plus, seven plus. And we still are making tons of military workshops. And which up next, I think, I think we got to make some more stuff. Wow, we're almost done with uh, uniforms, too. We need way more uh, howitzers, though. There you go. Stay with that. You know what? Stay with that. You're doing 70 a day is just pretty good. Plenty of horse and tack as well. Um, let's do that one instead. Get more guns, because we don't really need them, but hey, we like them. We got plenty of factories. Uh, military factories for now, really. Anything else here? Not really too much, but I did, like I said, I grabbed this guy, just because I didn't want our support for cons the Conservative Party to go down too low. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. Daily change, 0.94. Jobs down to 0.93, maybe? It, it's barely going down. It'll, it'll eventually, you know, get to equilibrium eventually. But uh, off screen, I've already apparently I've already trained everyone here as well. Early Zeppelin designs are pretty nice, just because we could do that. Uh, process engineering. Anything else here? No, 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 no. It's still 1877. Happy New Year, or close to Happy New Year. Let's get some Gibbs theory of thermodynamics. Cool. More research speed is a okay in my book. And we're focusing on heavy ships so we can get some more capital armor. And where is it? Oh, maybe we just researched it. Petrol, oh, petrol engines. So we get more naval speed as well as more naval max range factor. Just because if we get into a fight, I want our ships to be able to move as fast as possible. I don't really think about doing that one. Hmm. They canceled lend lease. Uh, what is this focus down here, though? In Denmark, begin Germanizations in the territory of Schleswig. And in France, and our territory in Alsace will be done as well. Oh, man. Please give me decisions. I want two church strikes. I want to fight the Social Democrats. The law of 1878. Um, court cases, nice. Against accidents, oh, insurance against invalidity. Um, okay. Hearts of consumer goods against illness. Uh, this thing is the same thing that happened last time. We cannot be bothered. Hmm. Keep the peace and push the idea of universal suffrage. We'll go with that one. Maybe that'll be the right thing to do for these guys. And how do you do this? Consider major colonial power. Okay. Large parts of this branches, branch are not finalized yet. Okay. We get Deutsche Kolonial Gesellschaft. God, I gotta play more Vicky too sometime. I really need to. Hmm. Vicky too takes so long, but then again, this mod takes so long. And this, actually, it's to me at least. Oh, aftermath. Oh, no conflict. Great, wonderful news. With some government factions supporting the protests in the French Caribbean, the movement is able to better amplify support for universal suffrage. Wonderful news. Cool. All right, that's fine with us. And Poland. Now, do we actually get any decisions here? Please tell me we have at least something here, even if it's just fake. Please tell me that we can start Germanizing. No! I just want to Germanize, man. Oh, that's the case. Oto. What is Oto events? A. A. The same ones. Exactly the same thing. So, we'll go to the top one, I guess. And let's do social security laws. Social security laws take a bit of weight off the shoulders of the German workers or consumer goods factories, but we can build more civilian factories faster as well as get more monthly population, which is a thumbs up from me. And up probably from a lot of you guys, even though we're building a crap ton of military factories. Uh, Continue working some other things, other military factories, because right now, <laughs> oh, we're missing our howitzers, so we're doing pretty darn well. I hope there's another war we can go to war with, like Austria-Hungary or the Ottoman Empire. Uh, but actually, we still want to get through all the the um, comments here. So with here, with our focus tree, let's just zoom in all the way to minimize lag. Uh, we can either do an agrarian state, which we talked about yesterday, or we can do industrial economy. Personally, I would prefer to do an industrial economy, but there was someone who recommended that we do an agrarian state, which I think, if we were to play this for a long time, might hurt us, just because countries need to industrialize at some point. Uh, so, oh, there goes Afghanistan. But since someone did recommend that we go with an agrarian state, I guess we can. So, that's fine with me. 
We could have gotten an eight hour workday, but we could probably book for that anyways. It doesn't really matter too much. Siemens, AG, Baya, AG. So with this one, civilian factories, a, more, a lot of blueprints. Uh, group of population factory goes up. Cool. Potatoes and sugar. I love potatoes. Sugar's not good for you, but whatever. Uh, new rotations. All right. Artificial fertilizers. Population growth. Oh, the Russo-Turkish War. The Balkans are on fire once again. Oh, wait, hold on. That means me. <laughs> the Balkans burn. Russia declared war against Turkey in the name of the interests of humanity. Wait, hold on. They're still my puppet, right? Uh. Uh. I, I mean... I guess you are my puppet, so which called in the French. Um, Russian allies. All right, Afghanistan, you want to join us? <laughs> oh, this is so not good. So not good. Um, Ottoman Empire, all these other people. Uh, sure. This is not how I imagined the... Oh, look, an actual British convoy. Russo-Turkish war would go, but... Hey, here we are. Um, oh, are they fighting the Romanians? Oh, okay. That makes it a little bit more interesting than for me. What if I just sent a bunch of horses down here? Whoa! Oh, even Serbia, too, huh? Oh, that's cool. I'll send a thing of infantry, too. Just because well, I'm sure we... Our guys have nothing else to do. They literally have nothing else to do down here. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to go like this. But this might... Getting involved in this might actually force us to peace out with these guys, maybe? So, how strong are the Turks or the Ottoman Empire? Because there's more than just Turks here. Way more than just Turks. More than just Turks. Uh... Uh... Everyone? Vamanos? Let's go! Yes, yes. Uh, that's a lot of divisions. They have a good amount of manpower. Good amount. Oh, look at that! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that! Naval battle! Holy goodness, 19 British destroyers, 2 Ottoman convoys, and 4 early line sh early, early line ship hulls. Oh, come on. We got one. Underwhelming? That's fine. Whatever. Oh my goodness, did we get them? Oh, we got, we got one? Oh, that sucks. We could have gotten more. Oh, we were so close to doing more, but that's right. Go and repair. You guys deserve a good repair session. That was so nice. This is definitely not how I wanted this to go. <laughs> uh, why did they get their own faction? Russian... Oh, wait, hold on. That means... Oh, they go straight through Afghanistan. Who doesn't want a war in Afghanistan? I don't. <clears throat> the Graveyard of Empires? No thanks. Oh, this is going to be really bad for us, too. Um, we're still winning overall, though, for the most part. Maybe not down here, though, but... I guess technically we can deal with these losses for now. But the Ottoman Empire? We've got off 5,200 already. Um, we might... It says we're doing well, though, so... Oh, God, supplies are really bad right now. Oh, boy. That, this campaign has been real wonky. I was trying to t say something earlier, but before I stop myself... Um, if you guys could get down here, that'd be really good. And then you could just encircle all these guys. Oh, they do have a... Oh, they did have a port. Come on, come on, come on. Chotsana. A lot of reds. So I'll stop attacking here. Like crazy. Go ahead and hold. Well, I guess you guys will hold. Too many losses are not good for us. For anyone, really. You guys, I think we'll do pretty darn well down here. Just go for a Constantinople. And that might just piece them out, maybe. Because, well, we're doing fairly okay against them. We have to fight Libya, too. We've killed off 55,000 of them. We've lost 13,000, but holy crud. Hope our manpower can deal with this. Come on, we gotta make more babies. More babies. More babies. When in doubt, we gotta make babies. Oh, they're attacking us. We're attacking them. It's kind of crazy here. Kind of crazy town. Kuwait, watch out. The ev the mighty people of Kuwait are going to come kill us now. Uh, yeah. There you go. You might want to help them out down there, too. So, just saying. Oh, we're getting attacked, too. <clears throat> Social security laws. Uh, let's go with uh, Agarian State. We might as well do this now. It's actually not too bad. It helps us quite a bit. We need to focus on the Agarian industry. Cool.
I mean, overall, we're still losing some battles. Quite a few of these. But... We're still winning quite a bit, especially around here. Um, supplies really suck down here, huh? Do you like to move in, sir? That'd be really good for us. Even destroyers are just sinking convoys left and right. Beautiful. Nice. Hopefully we can win here. I and mean, we are fighting over it, which really does suck quite a bit. Ah! Uh, Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh. I might want to hold and hold. We'll focus on the European side of things. Or just turn into a complete mess. Um, just win there first and then head this way. There you go. Cut them off from the capital. We'll do fine there. We've lost, what, 50,000? 60,000 versus 135,000. So that's really not too bad. Okay, we took the capital. Anguara. Thank you. All right, they sent a white piece, but we didn't. Um, okay. Oh, it's just a fight over there. I don't want to really go fight over there though. Uh, sure. We'll come to the World Fair. Why not? Oh well, these guys are all gonna die here. So, yeah. Hmm. If that's the case, I'm gonna throw all the horses over here. So. God, we need better logistic companies. Or oh, we need logistic companies, just period. Can I build roads here? Oh, we can. That's good. Nice. Good, good, good. When you concentrate your horses, they're so good. Oh, hello. Why is this demilitarized, sir? Just go in. You guys will do more than well enough. I'm not worried about that. Uh, Russia? No, this is Bulgaria. Hello, Bulgaria. Would you like to join our faction? Um, was Bosnia always there? Maybe they were. I can't tell. Well, they pieced out, but I didn't. So, what do we do now? I mean, I'm just killing them. And I don't want to kill them. They could be our potential future allies, but, like, bruh. Go horsies, go! You're doing a great job. We lost. We're probably going to lose at least a hundred thousand. Then again, and this also counts with the UK, but we haven't lost that many to them. Uh, up to sixty divisions over there, but uh, over here, oh, they're pieced out. That's right. Oh, that's why you're starving. That sucks. You guys just go ahead. It's, you're going to incur quite a few losses, but you know what? At this point, I don't really care too much. Nice. Focus on the heavy ships. We get some naval supremacy. Uh, stronger hulls. That'd be very nice. Good. Oh, yeah. We're just killing those guys off. Uh, we'll deal with that soon enough. Um, the theory of thermodynamics is cool and all. It's almost 18A. We're looking on all, doing all that stuff. Uh, naval reduction. Is there anything else here? I guess monitor hulls, I guess. I should probably do more army stuff. Are we at war with you? No, we're not. Oh, you're popping with those guys. That's good. Nice. Petrol engines are cool. I just want to do this one next, please. Please? No? Oh. Okay. Calvary, soft attack and reconnaissance. Okay, cool. Sign us up. Can you link all the way over here? That'd be really cool if we could. Okay, so you guys are really just dying over here like crazy. It sounds like you can win, though. Like, what the heck? Why are you telling our soldiers that lies? At this point, build a naval dockyard here or something. I can't tell what's what here. There's What the heck? Forts? Trenches? Coastal forts, naval base. There it is. Billets. Mexico. Mexico's already at war with us earlier, so. Early armored trains. Um. 
Special forces are nice and all, but camels would be cool. Stop attacking our organization. Uh, it's probably best we get out of here, so let's go this way. You go there and shift there. There you go. Lost about 105,000. Why are we still fighting them? Potatoes and sugar. What is this? We have to be peaceful for this, probably. Oh, new rotations. Um. What good is that? It's time for us to found the new journey to decide on a new currency method. Why not? I just want to capitulate them, man. I just want to capitulate them. Can you actually kill these guys off? That'd be so cool if we could. This is nuts. Right, so now I'm I'm pretty confident you guys could actually win here. Help them out. It's always good to help out your buddies. Any other uh, convoys and such? A lot of screens. Can we call you in the war again? All right, they're back in. Can you not go through the water? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, just hold and retreat. Go there and go there. All right then. Hmm. Boost army morale. Oh, that doesn't really help us out too much right now, does it? No, not. It really does not. We got in circle. That sucks. Come on, guys. Can you please just win over here? Help these guys out. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. You guys have got to win over here. Stop wasting time. Stop losing. Seriously, they're not that strong. We'll do that one. Um. Hmm. I mean, I don't understand. Like, I get that they're in the mountains and stuff, but they literally have no manpower, and we've lost a lot of guys too. Don't get me wrong, but. They're, they have a few guns left. That's it. That's literally it. Give up, Ottomans. You're literally done. So I'm not going to stop attacking. No conflict? Good. Good. Very good. Yep, there's no stopping here. Not for these guys. Help them out down there. Anything else? Oh, there goes that. Oh, look at all the convoys and Napoleonic uniforms we got from them. Nice, thank you. Called someone in as our enemy here. All right. We're so close to linking up. Pretty close, I'd say. Pretty close. Let's finally beat him there. Casualties are very high, but you know what else you expect when you cause 260,000 casualties when we have no allies helping us out? How have they not capitulated? Seriously. And how have like minority groups here not rebelled? <laughs> I mean, if if they're you know minority groups, you know minorities like all all across here, because I've played Kaiserreich too many times to see this happen in the Ottoman Empire. Like all sorts of groups here were pissed off at the you know central government and stuff. So like this doesn't make any sense to me. How would they not rise? What the heck? What? Are we fighting? What? No, no, you just stole this from us. What? Force them to die. Force them to die. You gotta... Hold on. You, you gotta go this way. Force them to die. Die, 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 die. And you're not an infantry leader yet? Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we probably lost a few cavalry divisions already. Um, this is stupid. This is honestly really stupid. Uh, like... Uh, Force, force the attack. I'm, I'm not going to play around here anymore. Like, this doesn't make any sense. How are they still holding out when they literally have no more strength? They literally have, like, almost 0% strength down here. They have no more manpower. They've got no more guns. And yet they always find more manpower and guns somehow. Yep, and this is what the horses wanted. That's what they're, used, that's what they're here for. So, please go there. 
Grunderzeit. I'd, I'd rather kill off the horses at this point. We're going to have to keep going. Uh, Kazalisha Marina. We need to reform our navy to better fit our imperial ambitions. Pretty much. Look how stupid this is. This is so incredibly stupid. Just kill them. They have no strength left. <laughs> I mean, it feels like I'm taking crazy pills here. That they're finding more strength, no matter even though they have no strength. This makes no sense. Just look at that. How are they able to f fight like with no strength? Literally no strength. Kill them off. Just kill them off. If they're going to kill off our entire cavalry regiment, so be it. Screw it. You guys are coming down here too. We need more horse divisions. Screw the Ottomans. They're not even that tough. It's just stupid AI that's causing issues here. Keep them down. This way they can't keep any more strength up. All I wanted was to sit here and have a good time just ignoring the British. But no, the Ottomans had to be all pissy about the, Tur the Russians. Uh, that's that's really annoying. That's super annoying. Um, let's see. That's a little bit too ahead of time. Uh, better uniforms, why not? I guess better uniforms, why not? Sounds good to me. Breakthrough here and then kill them all off for what they did to our horses. 200,000? And we're going to massacre the Ottomans. I don't care who, who's down here. At this point, just retreat. This is pathetic and stupid. Pathetic and stupid apparently wins a day because I can't be bothered to do this. We've done so well for this crap to happen. Yeah, I don't think so. Hold and retreat. And if you can along the way, kill them off. Good. They deserve to die. They wanted... They were... They all pissy with other people, so... Oh well. Salonika. So oh, look at that. Dockyards. Uh, more monitors? Are, they, are these capital ships? They might be. I can't tell. There's no symbol there, so I can't tell if they're capital ships or not. So I'm going to say no. So we're going to go for some more of this ones. We need more resources, too. Early? Wow. Not sure if we can really use those, but I'm not going to use them for now. Sure, just let, let, just give them all the strength back. Why not? Why not? Just because we can't do jack squat here. Alright, so you guys did a pretty good job. These guys did a good, pretty good job, despite all the odds. And you guys come down here and do this. I, I really think supply could be reworked in this mod, because... It, I know the roads aren't very good, but things need to be reworked in this mod. Oh, good lord. The Ottomans find infinite strength somehow. Thanks. Thanks a lot. When they have literally four factories. No guns. No manpower. But infinite strength somehow. Infinite strength. Uh, let's see. Corvette holes. I can do naval doctrine, but I, I dis completely disagree that... We can do this one because we can, but... That naval doctrine or naval XP does not help you research things with your naval doctrine. That makes zero sense whatsoever. Hopefully that gets over, get looked at later on too. Go kill every single one of them, massacre them. I don't want to see a single one of their soldiers left alive. You find a town of theirs, you burn it to the ground. Go, go, go! Absolutely no peace for these guys. They kill off too many cavalry divisions, and we got to deal with this too. But we'll get there in time. We'll get there. Everything the Ottomans worked up for, we are going to collapse incredibly hard right now. Yep, that division died. Literally died before our eyes. We've lost way too many men to be involved in this war. Force it. Infantry, like, you're going to kill them. Either you die or they die. There's literally no in between. So, they got a lot of PP though. That's kind of nice. Are they doing last stand as well? They might be doing last stand. That's why they die so often. Unless it still hasn't dropped. 24.8. Has it dropped any bit? I know it's mountains. And, no, they're, they're, they're doing last stand here. Look at that. We do force defense and they do last stand. It's literally like the battle for, you know, just who's going to die here. Horses, I apologize, but we gotta make we got to get some more breeders going. Kazalisha Marine, which is good. Imperial Admiralty. Uh, do we have any bonuses? Like raw like bonuses? 
Gumbo diplomacy in certain situations? Doesn't look like it. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, I'll keep... I'll uh, keep... Hmm... I'm going to do bimetallism. We must not restrict ourselves to the one type of metal when making coinage. Good idea. But we got a lot of army XP, which is nice. Oh, what are we lacking now? Cavalry attack. We were doing so well, and the uniforms were doing so well, but... Uh, disappointing. There you go. What are we building up now? Even some roads, some more military factories, some civilian factories. Not bad. Even some, what is this, naval bases? Cool, that could be somewhat useful, but not anymore. Uh, are you guys still moving? Hopefully, yes. No, maybe so. There's no time for just waiting around, guys. There's literally no time for that. Hmm. Keep going. Oh! Okay, so we take them. Cool. Well, seeing as I think we did most of the work, I'm going to take everybody then. I guess no Armenian genocide for this one. Oh, crap. I hate this part so much. I don't want to satellite these guys. They're not worth satellizing, satelliting. But if we have to, there we go. All right. Well, that was definitely in a little bit of a struggle. I keep losing hundreds of thousands of men every episode. But at this point, we surround Austria Hungary so badly that I'd be scared they weren't going to I'd be scared for them if they weren't going to join us. Um, so at this point, let's go and re like release somebody here. It, it, this is too crazy to not do. Oh, the. Mm. I could give the Greeks their territory, they want it. But only if they join our faction. I'm not going to give it to them until they join us, so. The Ottoman Empire, we, can, we can't afford to hold on to them, so. There you go. Welcome back. Anything else? Egypt. Sinai. Oh, does it, no one owns Sinai? Uh, I guess we can have Sinai. I don't really care about that. Even I prefer the Suez Canal, just Suez. There you go, you can have that. Anything else down here? Not really, no. Um, we're looking pretty good, though. I mean, our faction keeps growing. I wish it wasn't called the Russian Allies, but... I, yeah, what is what it is. I apologize for the horses, but my gosh. Supply, so bad. Oh, my goodness. So bad. Uh, it hurts. It pains. But hey, infantry did a great job, too. But actually, we gotta focus on these guys next. Ooh. I'm sorry, horses. I know I, I told you to go one way. But the fight's not over yet. <laughs> We've got another subcontinent to conquer. Oh, no. <laughs> Put the infantry up here, too. And the Caribbean people just... They don't like us. Why do they like us? Why do they like us? Come on, guys. Like us. We didn't do anything bad or anything wrong. I think we're building up more military factories still, though. That's pretty good stuff. But, let's see. They're led by Bakir Orbe. A counter reformist, more legislative power gain, less stability, and daily traditional conservative support. Not bad. And they're, now they're not even the Ottoman Empire. They're just called the Ottomans. They're about sub Sublime Porta. Nice. Oh, yeah, they even have... Okay, so Albania rose up, but then we just gave them Albania. This could be a lot worse. Uh, Montenegro is still here. Um, they still own the part of Bulgaria, but we gave them their territory back. You know what? I prefer United Ottoman Empire. Oh, good God. Russia can't even defend herself. Jesus. Uh, Russia, why? Why do you pain me so? We need a lot of horses. 12,000 horses to be exact. Holy cow. Oh, better uniforms are nice, though. But we're not going to do that because since we can't really afford to do that yet. Anything else down here? No. Mm. Army support? Probably better military. Oh, plus one percent. That's, that's it. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna wait through that until we get out of the deficit of what we need. So, oh my goodness, please tell me we can build infrastructure here. It's so bad here. Just get to the line and hold. That's really what I want you to do here. Just hold. Just hold. Hold. Oh, actually, don't hold. Go over here and cut them off. How big is this, is this division? Oh, they've got a lot of stuff on them. Mine sweeping. Oh, look at that. Surface detection? Why not? Sure. Cut them off if you can. That'd be really, really nice. 
Honestly, if this, if this is a big division, which it might be. I'm not saying it is, but it might be because I can't really tell. They should be suffering extreme more attrition. Like, it's, it's really bad here. Holy crap. Can we invade these guys yet? Bimetallism. Cooperation with private industries will cooperate with the private industrial sector, which seems pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Oh, what the heck? I did not give that to you. Why? Um, unless they have claims on Chisinau, maybe? Do they have claims on this? No, they don't have claims on this. So what? Did they get that? Huh. There's some things I just don't understand. Our reinforcement kind of sucks. But hey, we're looking a lot better on caliber equipment right now. So, Actually, if you'd like to, you can do that probably and do relatively okay. Go around and circle them. Uh, France, yes. We love the French. We love the French. Come on, get down there. Move. Oh, we got down there before they took us out. Good. There you go. Now they can't do jack squat. God dang it, now they can do jack squat. We don't like jack squat. I mean, they don't have that many divisions, realistically, so... But our divisions are so weakened after the disaster... Uh, not disastrous war. They just killed it. Okay, you're gonna die here, you son of a bitch. Seriously? Seriously? You stupid British idiots. God, I, why? Just peace me out, for the love of God. You're the aggressors here. I didn't even want to go to war with these guys. This is so stupid. So incredibly stupid. Just grab that. I don't even care at this point. This is so dumb. Why? Why are they not suffering extreme attrition like we are? Why? This makes no sense. It's 18%. It's 2% for us. Why? What the heck? No, I don't want that option. You know what? Screw this. Screw it all. Let them spread out like a cancer. <sighs> because the British are cancer. Just get out of there. Just get the hell out of here. Let them suffer from attrition and then go around them and beat them up while we're getting some more strength for horses. Yeah, this mod still definitely needs a lot more work. I know there's a lot of love put into this mod, but... Jesus Christ. Like, whew. Do not... Okay, whew. Just retreat. Uh, excuse me, retreat. Thank you. Come again. Okay, more horses. Wow, we lost four more divisions here. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, the British are going to have to pay. I will burn London to the ground then. Russian guys, please. Please. Just leave. Please. Why are you going that way? Go that way, please. Why are you doing that? You don't need to. Why? Get out of there. We can't afford this. We have not yet made another one of those. Alright. Surround the entire islands. Suffocate them. Overwhelming political stability is nice. Telescopic telescopic scope. Um, uh, it's not really... Eh, we'll do it anyways. Why not? We got the XP for it. Hopefully we can find and sink all their stuff. God. We should not be suffering. How are we suffering supply issues here? How? I know supply sucks. Or at least infrastructure sucks. But my gosh, these guys are so weak they're not using any supply. <laughs> This is driving me insane, I'll be honest, man. My campaign sometimes just drive me up the wall. Oof. I could send the infantry down there, but that would do nothing. That would just worse than supply. I might force rush. Oh, look at that, African trade partner. 
Fleet of potential colonies? Cool, that's kind of nice. Uh, railway? Sure, why not? Railway, boom, because we get more infrastructure speed. We will expand the railways across the country. Now, what do we have here? Lower the autonomy of a subject. Oh, yeah, Russian Federation. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we can really supply, uh, support companies here. Maybe we can destabilize the region by having the company produce weapons for them. Color de detriment impact. Now change the colonial pr company's priorities. Destabilize the region. Sounds like fun. Okay, so I don't know how naval supremacy works here when there's literally nothing else in the water around us. They can say they have ships here, but they're, they're, they're nowhere around. Like, literally, there's nothing around here. I, I think it's just best we force a white piece if we can. I don't know how to do that without breaking some things, but... I might just have to completely annex the UK and just... I just want to be at peace. I'll be honest. I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight the UK here. This makes no sense. I literally took out the Ottoman Empire, for God's sakes. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I love seeking British convoys. I love seeking the guys, especially since they killed a few thousand of our own guys, but still... They're out of men. <laughs> uh, let's see. They have no special forces. Got a lot of people in there still. Um, their navy is really pathetic because they keep not showing up. I, is the AI bugged in this mod to where they can't use navies? I mean, they, I've seen we've seen them use their navies once, but is it maybe just our spotting? Maybe that we just can't find anything. How many convoys do they have? They have quite a few convoys still, but. Uh, why do I have to build the roads for Russia herself, please? Why? Even with such little supply consumption, we still have... <laughs> Man, Russia's a mess. I think the only way I can piece out with these is if I literally just use Collins commands and annex these guys. And it gets rid of their puppets. How's Mexico's supervised state of UK? Just because it, it's going to break the game a little bit, but I don't really care at this point. Just because this is stupid. This is just really, really stupid for us still fighting the you stupid UK. Um, we've killed 107,000 of them. They've killed 47,000 of us, but... Like... What are we supposed to do? Maybe there needs to be a war exhaustion mechanic in here. Holy crap, that's Kingdom of Zulu, Zulu land. Holy crud. But yeah, I'm, there, there probably needs to be a war exhaustion mechanic. Especially for the upcoming Great War, which the, the mod might use in the future, I don't know. Um, just... I'd love to go in, but we need more supplies in here. And we're doing a little better on supplies. Guns have definitely gone down. Uniforms are actually okay now, look at that. Yeah, actually more than enough uniforms. Beautiful. Love it. Love it, 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 love it. Are you guys okay over there? End of the anglo Zulu War, well that's nice, I don't really care. Steam cars, armor trains, I guess better engineers, maybe. Could you guys go 103v1 and win into mountains? Probably, nope. You guys suck. Horses that definitely run their reliability. I want to make these guys 20 combo with, but it's just not worth it. Railway boom, which is good. And always false. From here on, the branches of Finchon are lacking a lot of content. Oh, boy. Well, let's go ahead and do insurance against invalidity. We'll insure our workers against invalidity, whatever the causes for it. Maybe. If we're going to... Uh, we're suffering so much god-awful attrition here. This does... does uh... You know, I think I've, I've got to end it here. I can't deal with this. I'm just... Let me know in the comments below. Should I just straight up annex the UK and then release them as an independent puppet country? Just because I we should not be fighting the UK anymore. It doesn't make any sense why they still haven't given up the fight after we literally took out Russia. We took out the French. We took out the Ottomans. At what point do they think that they can still win the war? We've taken out four, three other great powers. So let me know in the comments whether I should do that or not because this is just making me go insane. If you liked the video though, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. As I always say... And I think tomorrow will be the last episode because there's just nothing else here. Like, uh, even the focus tree says 
Like, <laughs> like, there's things not happening down here, but we'll see. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.